Okay, like, I cannot remember the last time I did this. <laughs> it's pathetic, I know. Um, this past week's been pretty hard. Uh, I've, uh, been sick once again. Don't know how I got sick. But I can tell you what I was doing when I got sick. Okay, so this is what started. Uh, okay, I was in Farmville, which is the closest city we have around here. And uh, it's pretty big. Not too big. Still small. Smaller than I like. Ah, on a big city. Uh, anyways, and uh, this was about. Um, let's see, last Wednesday, I do believe, may have been before then, not sure, but anyways, we were at the grocery store, and so, you know, my cousin is Sarah, everybody knows her by now, uh, if not, watch some of my videos, I'm sure you'll find out pretty quick, um, she likes drinking, um, Propel Fitness Water, and, uh, so, I figured I'd try it. So, I bought this big old case of Propel Fitness Water. And it's flavored. Um, berry, I think it is berry flavor. Anyways, we get in the car, and I decide I want one. So, I, I reach into the back and grab one. And uh, so, I'm drinking on it. And all of a sudden, when I get home, I have this major headache. I don't know if it came from the Propel Fitness Water or what. But I had a major headache. And, you know, so I brushed it off. I said, well, maybe it's not the Propel Fitness Water. I'll just take and, uh, uh, drink some more of it. Because <laughs> it did taste good. So, uh, I drink more. And the headache doesn't go away. So I go to bed. I wake up the next morning. I'm feeling like I'm walking around in a haze and my head is beating the crap out of me um, my stomach feels like I'm gonna barf any minute but anyways so I don't know what really caused it but like I said I'm over it now so it's all good but uh, I wanna give a few shout outs um, some people that know their name and know that I like to give shout outs to them and they know probably why I'm not giving them shout outs. Um, I'm not sure. But I'm not going to name any special people. I'll just say the basics uh, Brenda, Hope, uh, Kat, Anna, and Yasmin. Daniel, David, uh, David, oh my god, oh well, good thing nobody really, I don't know, okay, I'm not stopping this because I've said too much and this is quick capture and I'm not repeating it, people just cut me a break please, this is vlogging, you know, there's always mess up. Um, anyways. Um, I'm still an update. Uh, let's see. An update. I finally wrote in a journal I bought three months ago. Four? Well, it, no. It was five months ago. And I finally got around to writing in it. And I didn't write but two paragraphs. Um... And I started off weird. I started off, Hello, journal. My name is Matthew. <laughs> my goal has always been to be a writer. And it is one of my greatest passions. But anyways, I start journal entries very weird. But anyways, um, so like I'm sitting here looking at my little accomplishment on the wall. And... It's making me very impatient. I want to see my book. 
I want to see the cover. I want to see it in print, most of all, but, um, as most of you know. Uh, I seen the page proof the other day. Everything looks good. Well, the other week. And, uh, I approved them, of course, which it didn't really need my approval because, uh, there was nothing that I really needed changing. But anyways. It's gone on the cover design and should be done within a few weeks, uh, if not sooner. Um, then it'll be, you know, starting to print out whatnot. I don't know really what's gonna go on afterwards, but um, yeah. So I'm sitting here waiting on that and all that good stuff. Um, I feel a strong special need to uh, note. that I'm trying to improve something and some people know what I'm trying to improve actually I'm trying to improve my attitude and such and really it's hard because the attitude I have is really always been the attitude I have I mean Sometimes I think I'm bipolar. Maybe I am bipolar. Maybe that's not just my character. You know, I think everybody's really bipolar in one way or another. If the right trigger is pulled, you can become a bipolar pretty quick. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I just, I've been a child so long and I'm kind of stuck. And it's horrible to be an adult, well, a child stuck inside of a 19-year-old body. And um, I really want to get rid of the child. I mean, you know, keep the youth, right? But um, you're always supposed to keep your youth. But you need to give up being a child and stand up and be an adult. I understand that. Um, I feel the need to keep on talking about this, so I'm going to stop this video and upload the second part of this. Well, film the second part of this. Because I, I seriously need to get these feelings out because they bother me. And if I don't talk about them, then they just stay there. And if they stay there, they put me under a lot of stress. And I mean, nobody really has to watch these videos, but it gives me a peace of mind knowing I put it out of my own mind, you know, all that good stuff. So, here's the next video.